going. Okay, make sure you got everyone there. Okay. Imagine what you would do if you were born into this world blind. Would you let this handicap define your life, or would you rise above it to leave a mark on the world? One man who we've all heard his name, or at least heard of his music, Stevie Wonder, did not let his handicap of blindness define his life, but instead is defined today by the mark he left upon the world of music. Though his eyesight was stripped from him, Stevie decided to rise above this loss of one sense and develop another one of his senses, his ear for music, to uh, become one of the greatest musicians of our time. Uh, let's take a brief walk through his birth, career, um, and legacy left on the world today. Stevie Wonder was born prematurely on May 13, 1950, in Michigan. According to liveabout.com, Stevie was put on oxygen treatment upon his birth, which caused him to lose his eyesight as an infant due to excess oxygen. In addition to this hardship, his parents got divorced when he was only four years old. Despite all these troubles, Stevie showed an interest in music at an early age and was seen playing on the pots and pans in his house um, to the radio. Uh, by the age of nine years old, he had already taught himself how to play piano, harmonica, and drums, and was singing in a church choir. His childhood was filled with many musical opportunities as he was very gifted, and thus his musical career began as a child. At the age of 11, his original song, Lonely Boy, ended up landing him a deal with a record producer with Motown. Um, this producer gave him the stage name of Little Stevie Wonder since he was a still little child. He began touring and recorded his first album, Tribute to Uncle Ray at 11 years old. Um, his first two albums did not go too well, but his third album he recorded called The 12 Year Old Genius got him on the map. Uh, this album contained his song called Fingertips, which was the top of the charts of both R&B and pop music, as said by historyofrock.com. The 1970s brought Wonder into a new realm of music. His vocal range has dropped as he hit puberty, and his, chase, his stage name was changed from Lil Stevie Wonder to just Stevie Wonder. He signed a new contract from Motown, which said him to be more independent in his music. Britannica.com states that many of Wonder's masterpieces were written in the 1970s, including Talking Book, Inner Visions, and Songs in the Key of Life, each being named as Album of the Year and winning a slew of Grammy Awards. This is all accomplished by the time he was 25 years old. The glory days of the 1970s did not continue on into the 1980s, but he still showed a great influence in the musical industry. He produced another number one hit in the 1980s called I Just Called to Say I Love You for the film The Woman in Red. He still performs today and writes many songs, but it's a lot lesser degree than he did in his earlier years. His last album was in, 19, or in 2005 titled Time to Love, and his last single was in 2016, which featured Ariana Grande. Stevie's legacy is seen not just in the musical world, but also as a political and social influencer. He has and still currently fights against apartheid in South Africa, raises money for AIDS research, and is involved in numerous children and charities, Chancellor Charities. Stevie played a role in the election of Barack Obama to the presidency of the United States by performing at his rallies and offering his song, Signed, Sealed, and Delivered, as the theme of President Obama's campaign. Musically, Stevie left his name on the world of music as a whole, as his genre of music spanned from R&B, soul, funk, rock and roll, reggae, and jazz. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989. According to StevieWonder.com, he was the youngest solo artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at 29 years old, and also the youngest person to achieve a number one single and album at age 13. Stevie also has won the rights to uh, publish copyrighted works into a format accessible to the visually impaired to help those that lost sight as he has. Stevie's life shows us that despite the hardships that we face on a day-to-day -day basis, we can rise above those and impact the world around us. Instead of falling into a depression due to his lack of eyesight and his parents' divorce, he um, grabbed onto the one thing he loved the most, which is music, and used that to impact those around him. Um, he brought joy to many through his music, whether it was for entertainment, political purposes, or for charities. Next time we think of our struggles, let us think of the things that we do still have and pursue those as Stevie did. His eyesight was gone, but he allowed his ear for music to be a tool to bless the world around him. And this is Stevie Wonder, of course, right here. So thank you all. <laughs>